what yours, you specifically asked about Medicare. So yes. um, I, I think there are a couple different ways and there, there are different approaches out there to do that. One of them is the suggested uh, plan that, that Mr. Bruner referred to, Paul Ryan's plan, that has uh, a voucher or a premium that's given to Medicare uh, recipients. Uh, and and his, actually his newest plan has both the choice of, of either a voucher plan where you're, where you're given X amount of dollars from the government to go out and purchase your own uh, health care, or you can stick with the Medicare plan the way it is today. So you, you have those two options in the, in the uh, Ryan Wyden plan, which I think that's one way of, of looking at Medicare. The, the thing is, we have to do something about it in order to keep uh, it available for future generations and to make sure that we aren't spending ourselves into debt. So there's no question that Medicare has to be reformed. I think, you know, I've taken the position that we've got to protect people who are on it today and who are getting close to being on it, you know, whatever age that might be, 50, 45, actuarially, how that works out. Um, but I think there's also some other things that you can look at in Medicare if you aren't going to, to take the, the route that, that Paul Ryan's going, where you make uh, some adjustments to uh, to Medicare as we know it today. For example, raising the eligibility age, uh, that saves yeah. about 30.5 million, billion, excuse me, I'm still in the million, sorry, <laughs> the billion dollars uh, a year, and that would be raising it by about two and a half years. Uh, you can do means testing, again, that saves approximately 100 billion dollars a year. Uh, tort reform is another option, $23.3 billion a year. Uh, and then the, if you, you make drug companies pay their rebate back to the government, you can get up to $51.5 billion a year. So those are some specific things that, you, that could be done right now to help save the Medicare program today. And, and, uh, I think that's where we need to be looking, uh, at those kind of op different options and see what works best. I think the preferable way to do it is where you do have the choice between a voucher plan and some of these other adjustments that can be made to the existing program and people can choose. Now I have one caveat on that and that is to make sure that that voucher plan can keep up with the cost of health care. Uh, because that is a difficult population to ensure. It's an aging population, and as you know, that makes it more complicated because as people get older, they get sicker. And so then it costs more. And uh, we, you know, there needs to be some assurance that that voucher plan can keep up with the cost of health care for those people who, who have no other means okay. of, of, of paying for it. 